Hi guys, it's Matt here. How's everyone doing? I hope everyone's doing fabulous. I'm back with another review and this is the second time actually that I'm re recording this review because the first time around I had issues with the sound and I still haven't quite got rid of that audio background sound uh, that is not quite pleasant to listen to but I think I can find a way to, to kind of manage it in post-processing. Anyhow, I'm back with another review, another running shoe review and it's actually a, um, a running shoe that's been teased by the brand for a quite a while uh, by ASICS actually on social media, you know, with these like silhouette uh, social media images of a shoe kind of like hovering in the background. Anyhow, it is the new ASICS Agile Nimbus 25, which is the 25th iteration of ASICS's most comfortable running shoe. This current iteration has been completely revamped uh, from the ground up. Uh, as a coil of new stuff to, to go through in this review. But I'm gonna be focusing on uh, the four things that I like about the shoes, the one thing that I don't necessarily like about the shoes, and at the end, I will share whether you should, you know, buy the shoes or not, not share. I'm gonna give you whether, you know, give you a bit of advice whether you should buy the shoes or not. So without further ado, let's get down to this review. But before we get to the point where I talk about the things that I like about the shoe, I just want to thank ASICS and ASICS's PR for sending the shoes over to me a few weeks before the launch so I could get to, you know, I get to review and test it and whatnot, uh, which was very really nice. But again, I have no obligation to say anything nice about the shoes. So whatever you're going to hear in this video, I have not discussed it with either ASICS or ASICS's PR. These are all my thoughts, you know, for better or worse. Let's get the specs out of the way before we get to the review bit. So the ASIX uh, GL Nimbus 25 was announced on the 9th of January 2023 and will be available to buy from the 1st of February globally. In the US it's going to cost $160 and in the UK at £175. I'm not sure why it's more expensive in the UK, you know, especially if you take into consideration the, um, the, the conversion rate, but it is more expensive. It's slightly more expensive than the GL Nimbus 24, which I also happen to have right here. And um, anyway, so it's, it's a slightly more expensive. 175 you know, pounds is not cheap for running shoes, but I guess, you know, prices are going up because of the, you know, because of the economy we live in. The shoes that I used is a size 10 UK or size 11 US, and they weigh, uh, let me just check, it's 11.3 ounces or 319 grams. So for a uh, daily trainer, which has a, you know, quite a, a big stack height it's not you know it's not a heavy shoe as such obviously as you can see it's not heavy to hold either the new shoes have a 30 millimeter stack height so they 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 taller than the Essex journey was 24 which was 60 sorry 26 under the heel and 16 under the forefoot and this is a 30 millimeter uh, under the heel and a 22 millimeter under the forefoot so it's, a, 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 it's an eight millimeter drop so this was this was a 10 millimeter drop the old one and the new one is a an eight millimeter drop, uh, but what taller. So what's new about the ASICS Journal Nimbus 25? Uh, a lot of things actually. So one of the, probably the biggest things is the new uh, midsole foam, which is called FF Blast Plus Eco. And it is a more sustainable, softer, plusher, a version of the FF Blast Plus, and then you got more of this foam, as I said, because of the um, because of the increased stack height. So there's basically more for more foam underfoot, and and then you got you know as you can see, it's, it's the actual stack height. Let me just hold up both shoes like so, so you can actually see. So you guys, you can see it's there's just there's just more foam in general on the on the, the foot in the in the in the 25 than in, in the 24. So there's a, that's one of the things. The, the the gel section of the shoe has also changed. The new shoe uses what's called a pure gel, whereas the old one used the gel. So you can see the gel here on the heel. Let me just hold it up so this like darker translucent bit is the gel. Whereas in the new shoes, the 25, you can't actually see it from the outside. The third new thing is that uh, the upper has been changed, uh, not just the construction of the upper, but also the material. So this is a knit upper and this has this this is a an engineered mesh upper. The collar and then the tongue especially has been changed. So it's even stretchier than before. And then the, you got that sock like, you know, like collar around around the, uh, the ankles. It's easier to put on the 25 and it's easier to you know wear the 25 because it's, it's very very comfortable altogether okay specs and everything is out of the way so let's talk about the things that i actually like about the shoes uh, the first of these things is actually the stack height and then like the increased amount of foam on the foot it's just so comfortable to wear these shoes and the new foam and the new gel just makes it like a super plush experience to run the shoes it, it kind of feels like you're running in max cushion shoes but without actually wearing a max cushion shoe, 
because this is a 30 millimeter stack height, which don't get me wrong, it's is a, a comparatively tall stack height, but uh, you know, compared to the predecessor, which was 26, it's 30, so it's been increased, but it's nowhere near as, as tall as like the, the New Balance uh, Fresh Foam Maximal 4, or the, I don't know what else, the Hockey Bondi 8, which has, I think, nearly 40 millimeters of foam underfoot. So you got you got a lot of benefits of max, max cushion shoes in a daily trainer without it being a max cushion shoe. Uh, and, I, and, and I like it and my legs like it too. The second thing I like about the shoes is uh, that they are more sustainable. Asics, you know, tries to be more sustainable. I guess all, all running shoe brands, you know, are trying to get on the path of, of being more sustainable and it really shows in the Agile Nimbus 25. The new midsole has a more recycled uh, material, or I think it's 20% bio-based material coming from renewable sources in it. So obviously 80% of it is not from renewable sources as far as I'm concerned. So, you know, things could be better. However, it's more sustainable than the predecessor. Also, the upper is made of at least 75% of recyclable, recyclable, recycled material. And the sock liner is also made from, a, a, well, made with a, a process, using a process that reduces water waste or, you know, like during the dyeing, uh, it uses less water, so it's more sustainable, which I appreciate. Again, I appreciate, or I would appreciate if it was even more sustainable, but I guess it's one step at a time. The third thing that I like about the shoes is that they just look more trendy than the 24. I completely appreciate that the beauty is in the eye of the beholder, but I would like to think that we can all agree that the 25 looks like a modern shoe, uh, like a modern running trainer with like the nice curves and the nice colors and then the nice everything. Whereas the 24 did look like a bit of like a dead shoe. So I would not mind putting this on as a, as a part of like an athleisure outfit. This just looks like a, like a, like a, a cooler running shoe than the 24 and I like that. And the fourth thing that I like about the shoes and probably this is the most important thing, especially because I like the 24 so much is that despite all the changes, despite the new foam, uh, the new upper, the new giant, new everything, this very much is a gel nimbus shoe this this reminds me that the experience the running experience and then and then the everything else just reminds me of uh, how it feels to run in uh asics's most comfortable running shoe different stack height different drop uh, different midsole different upper different materials yet a very familiar running experience which is just a superb superb achievement Okay, so now that we talked about the five things, sorry, four things I like about the shoe, let's talk about that one thing that I don't necessarily like, uh, which is that, you know, this is a this is a plush cushioned running shoe, and it is very, very soft to run in, and very comfortable to run in. However, I think the, the combination of the new foam and the new gel made it a bit softer, uh, the midsole altogether, uh, which is which is not great from for, for from an energy point of, energy return point of view. Again, none of these shoes are, you know, I, w I wouldn't recommend them for like tempo training or anything, but I think that the 24 was a, because it wasn't quite as soft as the 25, I guess it was a bit more versatile than the 25. So I guess, I guess Asics focused on one thing and one thing only, that is to make the shoes more comfortable and they are more comfortable than the 24. However, they're not quite as, as agile, uh, if, if, if you understand what I'm trying to say here. Uh, they are a lovely shoe and for daily training, for walking, for jogging, uh, for recovery, you know, all that stuff it, it is great, but I guess by by making it even softer, uh, I think it, it kind of lost a bit of this versatility, versatility, I think. So that's 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 it, really. Important question, should you buy the Asics Gel Nimbus 25? I think you should. This is a lovely, comfortable shoe and and we need these shoes. We need these shoes to to help us remember what running is about, which is about the enjoyment and then the exercise and then this this thrill of being outside and and you know putting in the miles and the legs and and this is the shoe that that, that can enable you to to feel that to feel that feeling feel that emotion and um, again it's a bit more expensive than the 24 and by now obviously you can get the 24 for much much cheaper as well so probably you can get it for half price than how much this costs at the moment but even now at full price I was I would think especially in the US it's 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 a worthy investment and and I I, I would recommend these shoes for sure as for rating I I award the Essex Gel Nimbus 25 95 out of 100 jellies because it just feels like you're running on jellies when you wear these shoes. Uh, superb shoes, well done Essex. So that was it for today guys, I hope you enjoyed the review. Uh, there are more reviews coming, I actually just got a Hawker shoes today, which is embargoed, so I can't talk about those shoes until the 15th of February. So 
I mean, I've got plenty of time to test those shoes, which is obviously always great. It's a great thing. Uh, I've got press trips coming up, so I'm going to go to a Brooks launch very, very soon. I've just been invited to another Under Armour press trip as well for another shoe launch, so that's very exciting as well. I've got the treadmill just behind me, uh, which I'm going to be doing a review of very, very soon, I hope, hoping this week. And I also got another video coming about the Mongol 100, which is the, the, the challenge that I signed up for. Uh, and I wanted to give you a bit of an update of where, where I am with the with that and what, what's happening there so again stay tuned thank you very much for watching guys uh, please consider subscribing and liking this video and i shall see you very very soon cheers bye